Hey, Cap, got a minute? Dangerous, poor body. Spit it out. I'm still fretting about you, Lay. About how maybe she might not like me anymore. You had a sweetheart once. Was your courtship as uncertain as... Was mine? Nah, I ain't the type to make things uncertain. I see something I want, I take it or I die trying. used to be, you can get the best one. So the ship talks? Do all ships do that? I can't say for certain, since I only ever been on this one. Hey, to something special though, ain't she? for a round of whisk. Or a round of whisking. Or both. I, I don't like the way folks are looking at me, Captain. Like I'm a sandwich. One, Maybe I could one, stand a little closer to you. Uh, why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Oh. She just, uh, just comes and says whatever's on her mind, huh? Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsome. And I'll thank you kindly for it. I take it you don't have a reservation. No matter, I keep a suite of VIP rooms for visitors of your, let's call it a certain means. The VIP rooms charge by the night, but for you, I'll make it a one-time fee. Got a feeling you'll make me a fine investment. 
Marvelous. Do take care of the place. Maid service won't clean after a murder. If it's one that don't mind getting dirty, then I sure do. But how am I to know whether you're reliable, if not fully trustworthy? I do admire blunt honesty, so I'm willing to give a business arrangement between us a try. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be-handsomely-paid son-of-a-bitch who's gonna get it for me. Guess you've got it figured out, then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Catherine's great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. You know how their spoke are all crusty outside, but warm and squishy inside? I'm pretty sure she's crust all the way. Take my reputation on this being an ambush. We 
want to see if anybody's still alive. They might be too weak to call for help. I need to talk to you, Captain. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Just remember, I still got bullets, in case you get any funny ideas. What are you doing out here anyway? That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Yeah. I guess the Marauders noticed because they were waiting for us. Blew the bridge and took off with the goods. Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath.
I didn't mean what I put on your outfit. Oh, oh, gotta get over here.
Anyway, what can I do for you? Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I've finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the Reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Captain, let's talk. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? Does it matter? Job's done. Hmm, is that so? I suppose not. Curiosity was always my besetting sin. And we both know I'll find out. Eventually. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you.
Check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit, I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. C Captain! Big flaming thingy! I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram? Hiram, are you there? Without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. I see you learn nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I am more than finished with you lot. Worry all that ammo in your berth might combust? What? Wait, that's. It can do that? All it takes is a little bit of black powder next to a lot of bits of fertilizer and one real hot day, and. I've seen it happen. I don't know what's more unsettling the concept of my ammunition spontaneously combusting or the fact that this is the kind of thing you think about on the regular. 
This area is suicide. If you got a way around it, ain't no shame in taking it. Can we talk?
At last. Now we must secure the Stellar Bay landing pad. We will fortify the city against the board's assault. Uh, I'm all for fighting the board and all, but... Oh, shit. Just don't shoot too many of my drinking buddies in there, all right? And you, Captain. Are you prepared? This is it. Let us save this planet once and for all. Meet our forces in the ruins south of the city. Come prepared. Sanjar is sure to go down swinging.
Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of... We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Good luck, Captain. Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mine the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist, hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Absolutely. Let's talk. No, I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. Are you still annoyed at me for launching you into space? That was in the past. I've long since moved on. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Because we've lost our way, the board has a stranglehold over this colony, and we've all been conditioned into total obedience. The Hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you. People who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life, so to speak. No offense. Ah, you begin to perceive the truth. Yes! According to the board and their narrow-minded scientists, you should be a pile of organic sludge right now. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. Get it? We'll do our very best to save them all. I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. 
Join me for a second, will you? Where are we headed today, Captain? The stars are the limit. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. I, oh, oh, you mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? Yeah, you're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? So much wasted money here. Decadence ain't gonna save you when the beast gets through the walls. 
think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the gearings? I've always loved What's gone into block mine? Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success. Is it me, or could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Cannery and all. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors. And you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Typical. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? I love Byzantium. What else are you doing? I'm afraid I can't come back. A fine day for parcel pickups, isn't it? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, minister. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. You do that? Wow! Hey, you know, a positive review from the Minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel, to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. Law speed.
My dear fellow, you know... Remember that stream. If Hortense yells at me about vagrants one more time, I'm... See it. Hmm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Can we talk? How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Oh, dear. I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would, would you like me to make you tea? Please. This is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. After seeing this place, is it really a stretch? I've been confined to this house for years, and even I can tell you things aren't right in Halcyon. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. We're discussing industrial espionage, legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. That's good, because there are sure to be more at headquarters. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. 
Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Good. Halcyon is in dire need of someone like you. Oh, there. That's one right there. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. What in the law's name are you on about? Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was... Welcome to the Acropolis District. I'm not sure I have ever, in my entire life, felt more out of place than I do at this moment. <laughs> 